how good life is right now on planet Earth. It's never been better. And he's, he's absolutely right. Life expectancy, poverty rates, a hunger, all of these things. We're in a better situation today than we've ever been before. And he identifies the cause of that. And the cause, he says, is basically human ingenuity, ideas, the application of human reason in solving problems. Now, how is this related to the role of government? Because you ask yourself, what kind of environment allows for the thriving of human reason? What kind of environment allows for ideas not just to be thought of, but then implemented in reality and brought into existence? And what you realize quickly, and if you study the history, this is exactly what happened, is that for ideas, for people to come up with ideas, for people then to implement the ideas, to, to, to make them a reality, they need to be free. They need to be free. You can't have it when the Catholic Church is telling you, oh, no, no, the sun goes around the earth, it doesn't work the other way around. You, you can't have it when some autocrat tells you what to think or what to do, what business you can open or what business you can't open. You need to be free. Free to think sometimes ridiculous ideas that fail, but then you fail. That's okay. But for the successful ideas to work, people have to have the freedom to try them and to go out and do them. And then, so freedom of what, right? Because freedom is a word everybody loves, right? Nobody's against freedom, right? But freedom from what? Well, freedom means freedom from coercion, freedom from force, freedom from authority. And if you think about what that means, it really is the concept that the Founding Fathers described as individual rights. Rights really are the recognition that each individual is, should be free free from coercion, free to live their life as they see fit, free to think and to speak and to act as they see fit, as long as they're not harming other people. They have the right to pursue the rational values necessary for their own existence in their life. And therefore, what the only role of government, as I see it, is to make that freedom a reality. And to make that freedom a reality, what we need is to, is to extract force when we get together to, to make sure that you guys you know, this is why we have the police here, right? Don't attack me because of what I'm saying. Right. That's it. So we need freedom from force. So the role of government is basically that. It's to guarantee that we can say what we want to say, do what we want to do, and otherwise leave us alone. So police, a military, and the judiciary. And that kind of environment is what fosters the kind of creativity that has made this world such an amazing world.